let's look at language arts pages 197, 198, and then the two spelling pages 202 and 205. Okay, let's go ahead and start with that 197. 197 is all about our words to know, our words to know. And since this week our words to know are a new set of words, I will definitely help you complete this page as you're getting used to reading these new words. Okay, it says circle and write the correct word to complete each sentence. Okay, so we have a sentence here. We have three options for which word should go into that sentence. And then we need to circle and write. Okay, let's go ahead and read it together. Number one, we love to be around the... Hmm. Look at our illustration as a clue. We love to be around the though, ocean, else. Which one is best? The ocean. Let's circle ocean and write it on the line. Two. We hmm in the waves. We, hmm, in the waves. We ever dance, though. We dance. Let's circle and write. Three. We, hmm, a box of snack. Snacks. We, hmm, a box of snacks. We ocean around open. Circle open. We open a box of snacks. And number four. Even the Oh, this is such a tricky word to know. Look, it has so many letters that are silent, right? G and an H together. G and H in the word here are silent. Even the, oh, though. Even though it's cool, it's the best day hmm. ever dance. Talk. It's the best day ever. Let's circle and write. If you need to pause here to copy your answers, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and continue and turn onto page 198. 198 is also all about our words to know. So let's get started. Write the correct word from the box for each clue. Here are the words that we will use. Let's go ahead and say them first and then we'll start our page together. So let's look. Ever, though, talk, else, dance, around, dance, dance, around, if you're a kid, dance around. Do you remember that song? Yeah. I knew you would. Okay. Dance around. Ocean. Open. Okay. Let's go ahead and look. We have some clues here, this sentence, and then we need to fill in the blank. Looking here at how many squares there are, that could help us figure out which word could go into that, into that sentence. So let's take a look. Ask someone, hmm. And it only can be one, two, three, four. It needs to be four letters long. Okay, looking for a four letter word here that could work here. Ask someone ever. Ask someone talk. Ask someone else. Ask someone open. Which one sounds best? If you ask someone and they don't know the answer, they will tell you to ask someone else. Ask someone 
else. We're going to go ahead and write else into those squares and check it off so we don't use it again. Number two means to speak, to speak. What is another word that means to speak? Again, it can only have one, two, three, four. It can only have four letters. What word means to speak? Ever, talk, open. To talk, to talk means to speak. So we're gonna go ahead and write the word talk. Talk is a little tricky to spell because that L is silent. Yeah. Number three, sounds like never. Sounds like never. One, two, three, four, only four letters. What word sounds like never? Ever, right? Never, ever, they're rhyming words. And let's check it out. Four means the C. The C, not like the C as in what our eyes are used for, but the sea where there's water. What's another word for the sea? One, two, three, four, five. It needs to be five letters long. Look for a word that's five letters long that means the sea. Our only options are dance, ocean, ocean. And check it out. Number five, sounds like go. It sounds like go, but look how many letters long. One, two, three, four, five, six. It needs to be six letters long. We have two options. The, o, though, a, r, Around, around. Which one sounds like go? Though, but it's spelled very differently. Let's go ahead and write it. And check it off. Six, not closed. What is the opposite of closed? Open. And check it off. We have another clue. Seven. We sing and hmm. Let's look. It has one, two, three, four, five. It needs to have five letters. Looking at the only words that are left, which word has five letters? D and Dance, dance. We sing and dance. And check that off. So we have one word that we have not used yet. It says, write the letter from each circle. Take a look here. Have you noticed that some of the letters have a circle around them? For example, this A has a circle. And the R has a circle. We're going to start in order here at the top and work our way down, writing all those letters here on the lines. And we should spell a new word. Okay, I'm going to write the A first. Then I see the R. O. U. N. D. What word did we just spell? Around. That was our last word. Go ahead and check it off. Nice job. Okay, let's take a look at our spelling pages. 202. Looks like this. And it says the long I sound spelled Y. 
Write a word from the box to complete each sentence. Here are the spelling words. Go ahead and repeat right after me. Buy, my, fly, try, cry, why. Okay, let's look. Number one, little bird stood, hmm, mother. Little bird stood by mother. And check it out. Two. He was so sad, he was about to cry. Check it off. Number three. I don't think hmm, wings work, he said. I don't think my wings work. My. Four. I want to, hmm, up in the sky, he said. I want to fly up in the sky, he said. Five. I don't see not, said mother. I don't see why not. Right? The mom is encouraging him. Well, yes, you have wings. You should be able to do it. You can. Six. You can do it if you... Hmm, What's our last word? Try. You can do it if you try. Very good. Now you're going to move on to page 205. Go ahead and turn enough pages until you're at 205. Okay, 205 is the last spelling page we'll do for today. And it's called Spelling Spree. Circle and write the hidden spelling words. Okay, our spelling words are still the same. By, my, fly, pry, cry, why. But when we look here, there is a spelling word hidden inside of this group of letters. Your responsibility is to find that spelling word, circle, and write it on the line. First grade, here's a big clue. What is true for all of our spelling words this week? What letter do they all have? They all have a Y. So a big clue is when you're looking through this group of letters and you find the letter Y, Go ahead and look at a letter or two before that. You should be able to quickly find all the hidden spelling words. Go ahead, circle the spelling word, just the letters that you need for the spelling word, and write it on the line, right? I should not circle this whole thing. No, that's not one of our spelling words. That's not a true word. So we don't want to go ahead and do that. Instead, only circle the hidden spelling word and write it on the line. Okay, then down below. Proofread means find the mistake in each sentence, circle each spelling word that is wrong, and write it correctly. So again, I'm going to let you do this part on your own as well. Circle the mistake, and then write it correctly on the line. 